Okay, so I'm back here, back at you. Um, I just finished moving some of my stuff to the new area. This is the new area. Just to show you, it's still empty. This is a completely different district. Those yellow things are barricades all the way down the road. As you can see, it's still really empty. Now, this area is a lot more strict. They actually have a guard entrance down there. And I gotta be careful because I don't wanna piss those guys off. Those are actual policemen. So, this area is a lot more strict. They actually have, there's a couple other guards. These are just regular security guards. But in this area, everything is closed off. So they're doing things differently according to different areas in town, but they've blocked off this, com this neighborhood completely, only one way in and one way out. Um, so, but you know, you're not quarantined, you're not stuck here, you can leave, but you gotta have a little pass and you gotta have your little card here, which this is the card that has the neighborhood I live in and shit. So I got to show them, but they're actually pretty nice guys. I'm going to have to be cool about my cell phone. I don't want to like advertise because these guys are kind of important. Anyhow. So this area is a little bit more, a little bit more people in this area compared to what I showed you yesterday. Um, but once again, it's still not crowded. I mean, these streets are usually packed with people and you don't, there's really nothing going on. There's a pizza shop over there, there's a shopping mall, Vanguard. Nobody's going in or out, not very crowded. But I know the angle I just showed you was a little fucked up, but you know, I, I gotta, I just, I just moved here. I respect those, those guys are cops. And uh, they're, they're, you know, yesterday I started my relationship with them on a really good note. And those are guys that you want to be your friends. So I don't want to be putting the camera in their face and shit and being obvious that I'm recording it because this is a very, this situation is very personal to Chinese people. And as I'm a foreigner, I don't want to be obtrusive, you know? So just mutual respect. But you get an idea of, of how they're handling it. And, and in my building, because it's a modern building and uh, they have security guards every fucking way around that building. And it's more of a commercial area. They don't, they don't, they didn't quarter off the neighborhoods there. But I, I told you in an earlier post that they are locking off neighborhoods to outside people. If you don't have any business there, you don't live there, they don't want you to live there. So the neighborhood I just moved, it is an apartment, but it's also a family and residential area for, for you know couples. And it's a little bit older, so it's not as modern. And they have it set up in a more uh, traditional kind of community so it's got a couple of different entrances to the community but they're all blocked off yesterday I showed you the subway as I was coming here to sign the contract there weren't very many people today is the 20th which is the third date that people can begin to return to work well another other kinds of industries uh, now I came here yesterday and it wasn't, it didn't seem like there were that many people. But today it's picked up a little bit. But once again, normally these streets are just packed with people. So you get an idea. Even though people are, according to the, the schedule, they're allowed to start different types of businesses. There's not really much going on. I mean, there's Adidas and Nike and Anta. Um, but nobody's in there really shopping, so, uh, looks like, okay, the banks are open today, okay, so, that's good, banks have been closed up until today, so, we might see the economy pick up, but I was watching in the news about how the stock market's actually picking up speed, and I imagine it's not because of companies 
the value of companies going up buffett and the boys are buying the shit out of stocks right now which is driving the market because a lot of people are freaking out but actually those rich guys are having a party because it's a buyer's market for them as the economy i mean there's probably 15 or 20 guys just blowing up the economy right now just because of those guys buying soros and buffett the south american uh, telecom guy uh abraham Ivanovich, the guy in Russia, you know, there, there's a couple of, Putin probably is investing too, but you know, it, that market is being driven by buying, not selling. That's why it's not going down, it's going up. If you understand the stock market, the reason why stocks go up is because more people are buying them, so their values increase. The stock value, not the merchandise, not the products that the companies sell, but the actual value of the stocks of the companies they go up when people buy them because they have more value attached to them because of the increase of dollars so that's what's driving the market a lot of people think that oh well you know in this economy the stock market's going to go down but actually that's not the case if i had money i would be buying the shit out of stocks right now it's a buyer's market so a lot of people look at the situation like it's a bad thing for the economy but actually, it's good for a lot of people if they know how to capitalize on it. Uh, I'm about to go to the subway. So, uh, I don't know that it will be like it was yesterday. But, and I don't know if the VPN is going to upload as fast as it did yesterday. I've never been able to upload four videos inside of like 30, 45 minutes. So, that was kind of crazy little snack shop gold oh there's the the duck feet duck neck that's actually a Wuhan chain that we just passed Wuhan spicy duck neck is actually pretty cool these are all the rental bikes put like a 200 yen deposit on them and then you open an account you see how many there are that's and normally this is all empty so you can see all right these are the e-bike motor, motorbike guys that take you around when you come out of the subway all right so that just gives you an idea of the new area that i showed you this area is not as wealthy as the area i'm living in now but the area I'm living in now, that district is huge. So it does have like a poor part of it, but I'm not in that. And this area is an older, older district. And it's not as wealthy, but the apartments are cheaper here. And I just walked from my apartment to the subway in the time I was talking to you. So it's not that bad. All right. So some guy behind me is coughing. Hope you don't have the COVID. Uh oh, I'm going to die. Anyway, and the numbers are decreasing, like I said. Half the provinces don't even have any new reported cases anymore. I think we had one case. So things are looking up and uh, hopefully everybody will, will be okay. But I don't think this situation is, everybody keeps talking about pandemic, pandemic. Well shit, the fucking flu is a pandemic. Everybody gets it. Thousands of people die every year. I don't really understand what the logic is behind making people scared and freaking them out. All right, so here we go into the subway. Let's see what it looks like. Nobody. 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 Temperature. All right, so I got to turn the phone off to get into my account. 